Hello dear New Time for Africa students, welcome to year 2016 again and again. So, you know, we continue our course and today we're going to talk about very specific, very unique and very, um, you know, important topic. We will talk about how, by means of your project, you can bring people to faith, you can bring people to God. Because that's the main, that's the most important and that's the only reason why we do our projects. There is no point, you know, please, I, I, I'm sure you will agree with me, but there is no point to do anything in this world if the thing that you do or the project that you do, any of your activities, they do not lead people into the right direction. And the only way or the only opportunity how you can put or how you can direct people in the right direction, that's to change the very point, the very zero of their life. So the ground zero of their lives is the ability, you know, or submission to God, the submission of their lives to God. So what we'll talk today, I will show you how you can turn your project into the tool uh, that will be used by God to bring people to understanding and knowing of God. So stay with us, stay tuned with New Time for Africa and subscribe to our channel to get more information. Right now, just press subscribe to the channel and press like to this video, by the way. You know, more likes we put, more opportunities we give to other people. So stay with us and we'll talk about how to bring people to faith. So here we are. We will talk today about how to bring people to faith. And you know, it's very important, as I said, because your project, you know, have to bring people to the better life. And the only way to change people or to change their lives for better is to bring them to the source of life. So as you remember here, you see the picture of our project. As, you, as I said in our previous lessons, we, all of our projects, they must have three stages. The stage number one, that's the stage where we build, when we build relationship with the people. You have to understand that the majority of people or majority of us, those who believe in God, we came to God by means of our really either relatives or, you know, friends or neighbors, those whom we trusted, those whom we know. But of course you understand when people, they come for your social projects, most of them, they might not know you. We will talk about how to, we'll talk in our next lesson, we'll talk how to increase the number of people you know who participate in your social project but when people come for the first stage they do not know you that they, they cannot trust you they cannot open their hearts and they cannot receive the new things from you so you need to have this first stage and it has to be at least as I said two months it has to be at least two months or it has to be eight lessons eight meetings eight meetings that will help people to trust you that will help that will open their hearts and that will build the foundation of trust you know of people to you but at the second stage it has to be repentance that's the most important that's the actual that's the reason of our project and the third stage we'll talk about this a little bit later but let me show you how you can easily bring people those whom you know maybe doubt in God they have doubts or those people do, who do not believe or even people who are you know they, they deny the idea of God how you can lead people using the means of science you know uh, medicine you know I you know philosophy of life, how you can lead people, how you can show them the way, you know, to God. So let me introduce you to our, to our uh, experience, how we do this. You see here what numbers, one, two, and three. These are values of life. Of course, you remember, we'll talk about these already, values of life. We'll talked about, we talked about this at our course, New Time for Africa, before, but now I will show you how you can do this or how you can use this understanding with your disciples, with the, the people who follow you, you know, within your project. Okay, so every time, lesson number nine in our projects, what we have, we have lesson we call values of life, values of life. Uh, the reason why we do this, because that's the only way how you can explain to people, or that's the best way you can explain to people that they need God, they need spirituality, they need to turn their hearts to the source of life. Okay, so how we explain them? We, I show them, we show them the we, we split the whole society on three major groups. These are major groups, the system, these are groups of that are, that are divided by the system of their values, life values. And the most you know, common one is material. What are material values? Material values are money, you know, cameras, 
cars, homes, houses, uh, you know, things that we can buy, cell phones, things like that. And, you know, what is the, the sign or what is the symbol of those material values? The symbol of the material values, they can be exchanged for money. For example, if I want to buy this mic, I need to, I can buy it by exchanging it for money. So I use my money and I get these. But, for example, can you buy friendship for money? Or can you buy good attitude? Or can you buy character using the means of money? Of course not. Why? Because these are moral values. Moral values, the sign or the symbol of the moral values, you, you, you can develop these moral values within your lives if you will work on yourself. For example, it could be friendship, it could be, you know, attitude, your attitude, it could be your character, things like that. We call them moral values. And moral values, they're always higher, they should be higher than material values. For example, have you ever heard people, you know, who... Uh, you know, they kill others uh, and they rob them, you know, for money. They take money, they kill them because they want to use their money, they want to take their money, they want to get their money. What, why do they do this? They do it because material values takes the higher position in their lives than moral values. Moral values, you know, takes lower position with, you know, in the lives of those people than material values. That is why, that is why their lives are guided or directed by the value, their value system. But there are spiritual values. What is the sign of spiritual values? Spiritual values, they cannot be developed within your life. Spiritual values, they cannot be exchanged for money. The spiritual values, we take them from the source of life. We take them from the source of spirituality. For example, what is love? You know, some people, they say, oh, love, that's what we feel, you know, toward each other. That's not true, because if that's the measure of love, so then how you can define the love of mother towards, you know, children? It's another type of love. So actually, the issue is that we, all of us, we want to have love, and we understand that love is needed in this world, but there should be the prototype of love. So that's why spiritual values, they cannot be developed, they cannot belong to a man, but they are taken from above, and they are like prototypes. So the, the prototype, you know, the one, the source gives us the prototype of spiritual values. And if you will explain things like this, if you'll explain to your disciples within two hours lesson at lesson number nine at your project all of them by the end all of them they'll ask you only one question that if you ask them so which value system or which values you want to be to take the highest position in your life all of them they should answer and they will answer spiritual values and of course the next question will be how can I get those spiritual values and that's how you lead people to God then for about 20 or 30 minutes preach to them, explain them, you know, the reasons why God should take the highest position in your life. And at the end, help them to get saved, help them to pray. You know, you know I, I, will take, I will tell you out of my experience and out of the experience of the social projects we do, m m not most of the people, but all of the participants, they are praying that prayer at that day, at that lesson. All of them, they pray because they understand that spiritual values are really important in their lives. So that's how you bring people to God. And of course, after this, the most important thing, the practical thing, you have to stick people to the church. You have to stick them to the organization, the church the institution that will help them to grow you know in you know spiritually grow so that's why i do recommend you start your project you know and make your project the tools the tool that will be used by god in order to change the future of your nation so that's why once again welcome to new time for africa project the project that has new time that gives new opportunities and gives new future to africa i'm pretty sure the continent that bow down or people the country the nation that bow down their knees before God that once you know sooner or later they will stood on their feet and they will be bold because God is changing lives of people so stay with us stay subscribed and share this video with your friends and welcome to new time for Africa project